Hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to create quiz in JotForm. The first thing you want to do is go into your browser and you are going to type in JotForm Quiz Builder. After doing that, you can scroll down and you are going to tap right where you see Free Online Quiz Maker JotForm. You are going to tap right there. Once you have done that, you will be redirected to this page and you can tap on Create Your Quiz. After selecting Create Your Quiz, you will be redirected to this page. On this page, you can choose whichever one of these templates you like to use, or you could tap on Create Form from Scratch, and you could create a quiz from scratch. So let's say, for example, I'm just going to start off with Create from Scratch. Then from there, you can choose to either use Classic Form and show all questions on one page, or you could choose to show single question per page, we're going to be selecting classic form for this example. After selecting classic form from here, you could upload your logo. You can also put in the organization name. So I'm just going to call it JSON Tutorials. So let me type that in real quick. After I've added in my name, you can tap there, don't show, and we'll tap on save. Then we can start creating our form. So the first thing you can do is drag and place your questions. To do this, you can go over to the top left hand corner, right where you see the plus, you're going to tap right there, and you have different elements that you can add. So if it is a case that, for example, you would like to add a heading, you could drag and place heading. After placing the heading, what I want you to do next is scroll down, and right where you see basic elements from the left hand column, you can choose whether you like a short form question, long form, paragraph, drop down, or you want to ask a multiple choice question. Let's say we were to select multiple choice, so I could drag and place the multiple choice question right there. After doing that, I could type in, for example, then you could type out the different answers. So for example, Sunday, Monday, and you can type out different suggestions as you can see right there. After typing out the different suggestions, you could go over to the right hand menu option and you could tap on add properties. After selecting add properties, you could toggle on whether you would like it to be required or not. And you can also tap on options. And from there, you can see the different options. And you can also toggle on calculation values. You could toggle it on right there. And this is where you'll be able to choose the correct answer. So obviously the correct answer would be Sunday. So you could type in yes right there or you could type in a value. So let's say for example, they'll be receiving 10 points and then for each other answer, they'll receive zero. So you could type that in right there. After you have done that, you can scroll back up. Then you could tap on surveying and if you would like to add entry limit, so this will limit the minimum or maximum number of selections allowed. I leave that is as is, then we'll simply tap on the X. Once you have done this, all you'll need to do now is continue adding questions. And again, you can choose to add multiple choice. You can choose to add long form questions or short form questions. There are numerous options that you can choose from, from the left hand column, as you can see right there. Once we're finished, we're going to tap on settings from the top navigation bar. Once on this page, you can tap on title and you could edit the title. You can also go over to the left hand menu option and you could edit the thank you page. Or if you would like to redirect them to a different link, you could tap on redirect to an external link and paste in the external link right there. If it is a case that you would like to integrate your quiz, on your website, you could tap on integrations from the left hand menu option. And then from there, you can see the different platforms that you can connect it to. You can also scroll down and from there, you can set up workflows if you want. Now to publish it, you're going to tap on publish. After selecting publish, we could select embed. And then you can copy the code and you could embed it, for example, on your WordPress website. If it is a case that you would like to share the link right away, you can tap on copy link. You could also download it via PDF. You could download it as a pre-fill PDF or you could download it as a fillable PDF from the left hand column. Now we are going to simply open a new tab and I'm going to paste it in so that you'll be able to see a preview. 
Now, once someone receives the quiz, they can answer the question. After they have answered the question, they'll tap on Submit. Then once they have tapped on Submit, from there you can see, thank you, your submission has been received. Now, if we were to go back into JotForm, let's say we were to go back and I'm just going to tap on JotForm in the top left-hand corner. After doing that, you can see right there, we have a red icon which shows that we have received a submission. Now, when you tap on it, you can select submissions. And then from there, you'll be able to view the submissions and see what the person had chosen as the answer. So you can see it right there, one viewed, and you can also see the answer. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button.